what is 4.0 in terms of logistics? So actually what we are facing today is a fourth industrial revolution. And this fourth industrial revolution is going through all the different areas. It's changing production technology, it's changing education, it's changing health, and it's changing logistics, of course. So logistics for O is mainly the implications coming from the industrial revolution to the field of logistics, meaning Applying big data technology on the field of logistics, applying intelligent systems, autonomous systems in the field of logistics, applying 3D printing in the field of logistics. So all these things, autonomous systems, are kind of kits of the fourth industrial revolution and they are now swapping over into the logistics area. But the difference is that in this fourth industrial revolution we are facing certain kind of phases or subwaves. Some are faster than others. What we face right now is we are changing a lot of things in logistics, more in the big data technology stuff. We are using the data coming from the trucks much better to improve, for example, the routing algorithms. The next big phase, and this would be the two, um, would be autonomous driving. Right now there's a lot of research going on, and you know about the Google car and the Mercedes trucks and so on, but you cannot go into the shop and buy 20 of them. But this will be the next big wave, changing everything in particular, also changing a lot of people's life, because because in a lot of countries we have a very, very broad community of truck drivers, train drivers and so on. So we will face a severe challenge at this point as well. I will be very honest, I have not been doing research on how much big data technology are Polish companies already using. It's also a bit difficult to do so because usually you can only get these answers by expert interviews. But what I can see is that in general, Poland is moving very, very fast. I mean, in the last, you know, yourself, about 25 years, 20 years, it's very, very fast moving. So I came just back from Korea, and there we have kind of the same situation. So I, I believe that in a certain way you have a good position because you are so much in move. All the areas of society are under change. So you don't have this tendency, as the Germans sometimes have, you know, we are good, so we stay where we are because we have done it this way all the time. So this is not the situation here. So therefore, I think we are in a fostered, fortunate position. So Transporian met us, I think, about a year ago. Actually, it was a telephone conference. So after half a year or so, we met in person. And so far, we just started to communicate to each other about your questions, what does 4.0 mean for companies? And then we figured that Transporion, they have been developing software products already 10, 15, 20 years ago, but actually they were already facing a little bit towards this 4.0 stuff. Of course, they have not been calling it 4.0 because this term was not coined at this point. But if you look at the software, they have the idea to bring people together, small, medium enterprises, to some kind of platform to allow for the transport Porters, for the cargo companies, but also for the producers to, well, to meet, to form new alliances, to be much more flexible than before, not only like a one-to-one -one relation between the cargo and the producer and so on. So actually, they already had this network collaboration idea very, very early. So, and now we are working together, doing a lot of expert interviews and trying to, well, improve their software in terms of integrating more AI technologies into it.